Is Destiny technically an MMO now? Well, from Luke Smith, Destiny 2 is an MMO, a definitive action MMO, massive multiplayer online. And this is actually on the first page of Destiny's website. Now, despite these claims, Bungie has never really invested in adding social features that are staples of typical and popular MMOs. Examples, World of Warcraft. You got guilds, you got group finders for dungeons and raids, auto instance matchmaking, no player input needed post-class selection, unless you're the leader starting the activity. Final Fantasy has player accommodations, which are huge incentives for people within that activity to behave themselves and of course play well that you can redeem for items afterwards. And of course, that beautiful vote to kick option, which personally I feel like we should have already in Destiny, okay? I'm just saying, nothing infuriates me more than watching people play AFK inside of Gambit. Gambit already is hell enough when you got a full team. And there are lots of examples from Lost Ark to New World to Guild Wars 2, ESO, Fantasy Star Online, Planet side to Warframe. Many of these MMOs incentivize you to socialize, to play with other players, to increase more rewards, increase more loot. But then there's the other side of things, the other added value to having a more social game. And that's that connectivity. Fellas, RuneScape at one time was my home. And I still remember attending an in-game wedding for a Joe way back when. And I know before some of you jump up to go, whoa, Cross, that is so nerdy. It was. It was an in-game wedding at one of the clan citadels between two different members of very big clans. And and it was a union of sorts. And I'm not gonna lie, it felt kind of weird, but at the same time, it felt right. And those two lovebirds are still going strong today. There is something that builds, something that the game developers themselves can't create. All they can simply do is lay the groundwork, the bedrock, and hope that one day this social world will take root itself, which will create some of the strongest memories within that MMO. Now, what could Destiny add? Now, listen, we're gonna go through a number of things here, but I do wanna be transparent about the things that Destiny can't add. Obviously, player trading is is not on the table. All right, as much as I would love to see real world trading for a multitude of reasons, running my own Glimmer Casino at the tower would be a dream come true. Along with, I don't know, some sort of joint called the Hive will do anything. Nah? Now this obviously wouldn't work for Destiny. And also given the loot economy, player trading really wouldn't make sense. It would really undermine everything, especially considering we now have weapon crafting in the game and it's only gonna get broader and broader. And being able to get resources or materials from being in a clan or something similar will also never work for Destiny either. They've already try cutting back on the amount of currencies in the game because players don't like how many there are. And the systems that we have in place to net legendary shards, cores, prisms, ascendant shards, glimmer, upgrade modules, etc. are very ingrained into how the game plays as a whole and how character progression works in the end game. It would require massive overhauls to those systems before we can get any real MMO-like material resource currency sharing within clans, much less a full-blown economy like the Grand Exchange inside of RuneScape. But where Bungie can make major changes is in the matchmaking in LFG. Currently, the only in-game activity accommodations that exist for solo players are guided games. The system is very simplistic. You queue in as a guide or a seeker and get punished in Oathkeeper score for leaving early. The score has no effect on anything other than guided games. And although this is a decent start, this was a start back when Destiny 2 launched and it needs to get better. Bungie should implement an in-game LFG system. And fellas, we've said this so many times. The reason why I have a little more faith in it now is because it's called money. And Bungie is making a lot of money from us and from Sony. $3.6 billion. My God, we should get an in-game LFG system, which would replace the need for external forums and social apps. And considering that Bungie has spent a lot of time last year uniting the different platforms for cross-play and chat, this is something that already has the groundwork, the hard stuff already put into place. Now, I propose two systems to be implemented. You can get matchmaking with simple parameters that service the average player base who wants to run a dungeon, nightfall, and raid with very very little strings attached. Have parameters for light level and possibly class, but nothing else. Players have the ability to vote kick if everyone in the group agrees that whatever player it is that's maybe throwing, but like intentionally throwing, has to get booted. I also want to see a commendation system within this though, where players vote on the most helpful teammate after an activity. If you got that one guy that's like, yo, this is how we do this, or that one guy that clutches up and saves your team from wiping, boom, give them a commendation. You're seen it in Final Fantasy. And who knows, after so many commendation points, maybe you can redeem it for an emblem or a specific item or hell, even a memento. Like make it some really dope memento that you can throw on your crafted weapons to be like, yeah, I'm a baller. The opposite side of things is if enough reports are given out, if you're constantly getting booted, you will reach a status of bad standing, which would temporarily ban you from the matchmaking system. This is pretty generic stuff, by the way, fellas. Now, option number two, a dedicated LFG tab. Now, this is where players would have the ability to sort through different activities. You would automatically join in-game without having to 
ask for Bungie names. You'll have much more specific tags here, as well as filters to find the exact group you are wanting, completing triumphs, flawless runs, farming, etc. Here, you will have no commendation system, but you would earn rewards for participating in LFG. Emblems, gear, titles, shaders, mementos, something that drives players to interact with the community more. And again, similar to the commendation system, but these would be direct rewards for participation. And the goal here is to drive players to interact with the community more. Now, I'm going to bring up clan spaces as well as activities. Guys, what is the biggest advantage of being in a clan? Absolutely nothing. I joked about it the other day. Someone asked me, Cross, why are you in Primal? And I said it was for the clout. But to be perfectly honest with you, it really doesn't matter whether you're in a clan or not. And there's tons of clans out there where people don't even interact with each other. Clans hold very little significance in Destiny. We have this tiny little balcony where we visit Hawthorne, a clan banner that you can upgrade over the course of a season, which I'm literally sure everyone forgets about because of how little importance it serves. There are no activities where you can leverage the full 50 member slots Bungie allows per clan. But here's some ideas. Clan halls. Let us, Bungie, interact with the last city. Maybe this can be physically located there and have it similar to like the tribute hall, but it can be shared with your entire clan. You have things like a shooting range and a test damage place, some fun things like a soccer ball, a jukebox, maybe in your vault and postmaster. Now, the issue is, is that the tower has a player capacity of 26, but 26 clan members in a dedicated clan hall is still a great amount, but it would be nice if we could get that even higher though. You can have an interactable table or a board similar to like the war table where clan members can set up activities that other members can join in on. You can have interactable screens that shows the top PVP players in the clan or PVE players and other stat related info. The main thing is, is this clan hall needs to be somewhat customizable. Clan leaders should have the permission to decorate the hall and change the look of things. And honestly, New World was really, really cool because when you own the settlement, you had so much control over everything, right? From taxation to what was getting upgraded and you saw physical changes within the settlement. And lastly, change the clan banner perk upgrades to clan hall decoration unlocks. Imagine if each season Bungie released new decorations and cosmetic stuff solely for decking out your clan hall. And the only way to get these was to level up clan ranks by playing with your clan. Almost like the season rank pass that's full of items and gear, but a clan specific one that nets you decorations and customization options for your clan hall. And believe me guys, Destiny is a game where everybody likes to flex. And that's essentially what a clan hall can be. It can be a place in which you can flex as a group together. Dude, there's probably some clan out there right now that all they do every single day is kill Thrall, right? They're like, hey man, when are you getting on to kill more Thrall? Imagine if they could just sit there and flex that they killed, I don't know, a billion Thrall. That's a flex. I'd brag about it. Now, clan PvP events. Bungie's already mentioned talking about adding more game modes to Destiny, so why not clan battles? Look, we used to have clan versus clan back inside of RuneScape. Anybody back in the day used to play battle ladders? Y'all know what the hell it was. It was serious. You spammed your booties off before every single war and you fought to the last man. Now, Destiny 1 had large maps. If you're concerned about large enough maps to have clan versus clan. We had things like First Light, Sky Shock, Bastion that could support high player counts. And obviously more effort could go into making more arenas or battlegrounds for large teams to fight in. But this is just a baseline option. This is not something that should stay forever, but maybe a once a month type of event. Similar to how like Iron Banner comes and goes. Bungie can create or introduce PvP maps that support high player counts and introduce the ability to have a fire team of more than six guardians. So an entire clan can queue up versus another through matchmaking. Let's say for example, 25 versus 25. Again, I know the technical difficulties here with peer to peer, but it was a beautiful thing back inside a new world, picking and choosing who you wanted to take into battle, right? Like if Les was suddenly talking smack, oops, I might have accidentally booted you from the upcoming war. I'm sorry, Les. Same concept. And of course, everyone must be in the same clan to matchmake. And clan wars can offer a lot of incentives, maybe an exclusive emblem for that season, maybe an actual trophy board or leaderboard. Clan wars can also have things like unique shaders, cosmetics, armors, weapons that can drop at the end of matches to encourage people to participate. And clan wars could also grant more clan XP than any other activity because it's a once a month clan specific activity. I think though, like the clan hall, this is also another flex, right? Have a dedicated game mode. If Redeem wants to take on Primal or vice versa, let's see it, baby. Now I'm going to single out clan wars a little more here. We have something called Guardian Games every year, which is pretty fun, right? Hunters versus Titans versus Warlocks. But to be perfectly honest with you, a lot of people don't like Guardian Games. It's hyped up a little bit here and there, but it's become very repetitive. Clan Wars could be something held once or twice a year. And these Clan Wars could last an entire month. And you can tally up the achievements at the end for each clan. And it can be things like GM completions, trials runs, raid completions, dungeon completions. It's all tallied up and kept track of. Each of these activities is given a score and then added 
added up for all the clans at the end of the clan wars month and whichever clan score is highest will win the clan war now i know some people don't like this because they're like yo the streamer clans will win i do understand that concern considering the time commitment for something like this right now as strongly as i may feel about the clan versus clan activities and such and a clan space i feel way more strongly about this one i'm talking about all the solo aspects but this is more of an individual one player housing now perhaps it doesn't have to be an actual house say for like in the last city or something maybe you could just be like warframe where it's inside of your ship your ship would become your personal area where you can customize in various ways you can invite some of your friends to chill you can even grab a few drinks do some emotes and here's a few ideas for this visual customization and decorations being able to customize the interior of your ship completely separate from what the exterior looks like ships will have multiple rooms and floors with different purposes and styles for each you also have the ability to change colors accent colors on the walls have a lounge area in your ship where you and some pals can sit down and relax have a place to show off your ghosts or maybe even some sparrows that you've collected and of course visual customization unlocks once again it would be super cool to have decoration unlocks like mentioned in the clan hall section decoration unlocks for completing challenging activities imagine getting a floating moving mini replica of a pyramid ship for completing vow of the disciple rate and you could set it up on display inside of your ship or maybe a moth pet that flies around your ship after you collect all the secret moths in the throne world and once you acquire a title a seal or badge you can also get a ship decoration where you can hang that seal and badge on the wall in your ship fellas am i selling you on this yet we've got a ton of ships and we have yet to go inside a single one of them and while we're in speculation land and i know we're out here right now what about an armory room where you can display your favorite weapons on a wall and players can actually see the roles of these weapons simply by interacting with them you want to show off that god roll that nasty icky icky that you got boom put it up on the wall you can also have an area where you can store save and show off loadouts i love destiny item manager but what if you can just click a button while you're there at your ship instantly equip the loadout oh what if your teammate comes in and goes hey man i love that loadout they too press the button and voila they now have the loadout if of course they have the items for it right it could be an armor stand essentially that you can interact with that you'll be able to copy your currently equipped gear and then save that loadout onto the armor stand allowing you to equip everything in that loadout instantly and you can have multiple stands at once to save multiple loadouts on your ship i also think the ship would be a great place to hang up all the different artifacts that we've had over these seasons right there's some of the artifacts are amazing imagine having this trophy case room where you can go and look at every single artifact that you previously had and when viewing them you can see each season that they were a part of what mods they used to have we could be like oh my god y'all remember particle deconstruction from season of the loss yeah right in a library i told you we're gonna get deep here fellas a library where you can endlessly flip through lore books and check progress on collected pages hell your guardian can even sit down and start reading right there in the kick out recliner it would also be amazing if we can view the d1 grimoire cards here too now if bungie didn't want to take this approach to the whole player housing or player ship and just wanted to merge it with the clans similar to final fantasy final fantasy would have clan owned homes right but you would have a room within that home and it would be your instance base room and as soon as you enter it it would be exactly the way you made that room and that could be the same exact concept here so it's almost like a house within a house we're talking like some harry potter stuff and all of these features that we mentioned a second ago are features that can be implemented for either the clan houses or clan halls or individual player houses now nah, no nah. is this just too crazy are we being overly ambitious for destiny well for destiny 2 probably so but for destiny 3 now listen i'm not saying destiny 2 needs to go away and i like destiny 2 but we do have to understand that destiny 2 is limited even with all the back-end engine changes that bungie's doing there's a reason why we don't see these huge massive big team battles probably a lot of it has to do with requiring dedicated servers however with sony money now and their ability to pull off these large monetary resources for scaling and overhauling destiny systems then i actually think this is possible and maybe it could be done inside of destiny 2 the main thing is considering so many other mmos out there have in-game matchmaking has clan incentives and social incentives has memorable social moments i mean i don't even play final fantasy hardly anymore because we're so busy with destiny but dude some of the funnest times inside of final fantasy was not even playing the game it was literally just loading into one of the marketplaces watching people dance around and mess around how many times did you just sit there and cut wood in runescape and just talked for hours and hours about literally nothing there's social aspects from other games that makes you connect with them and there's a lot that we connect with when it comes to destiny too but as far as the social aspects there's a lot that bungie doesn't really help us with we have to go out of our way to find people we want to play with and i think at this point in destiny's life it's time to make these changes so guys let me know in the comments below what you think would you like to see 
see these changes. Are they way too out there? Probably so. I'm a dreamer, man. I can't help it. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.